Well, all right. I, uh, I'm just straight off of work, just get out of the shower. Um, but I have the mystery tag box crate I wanted to unbox. Um, I went and got the crate. I opened it just to look at the top. Um, haven't been through it yet. It's actually been sitting in my room for like two days, two days at this point, something like that. Um, I've been waiting to make this video, open it up, and then work, and all of that stuff, so let's just jump right into it, I guess. Ooh. Alright, so I knew I saw these, and I was very excited about them. The Exo, or uh, what is it? Yeah, Biospawn Exopods. These are sick. Those are really, really good. Um, the... Biowa? Not sure. Some sort of crawdad in a, uh, what looks like a green pumpkin, green flake, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What we got? Oh, snap. I forgot. Cheers, boys. We got some more Biospawn, the Exobug. I have so many of these in the exact same color. They never give you any other color. Just the Okeechobee crop every time. Which I don't even think there's a part on here that tells you the color. They just kind of give it. Oh no, there it is, Okeechobee crop. It's all like this is a little part of the barcode. All right. Where do we go next? Holy crap, there's a lot to unpackage in this. Um, we'll go with these two jigs I see here. The Juicy Jig. Everybody's seen one of those. Toss it to the side. This, uh... Man, what is this? Uh, um, Callan's Flippin' Stalker Jig. It's kind of cool. It's more like a watermelon red flake. It's probably really hard to see with the light being in the back and not... Vice versa, but oh well. Um, God, I have like forty of these things. <laughs> the Weston, uh, I don't even know what color that's supposed to be. We'll let's see. Floating chartreuse blue craw. I don't know. I got a bunch of them though. I can tell you that. I don't use them. Uh, the Guggen revolver. It's like their whopper plopper style bait or whatever. Kind of cool. I'll try to throw it one time. Um, the Guggen Junior Scout. I'm going to try to fly through them a little bit. The Carl Spinner and a Chartreuse. Yep, Chartreuse White. Pretty nice. Is it 3 8s? Yes, 3 8s. Nice. Uh, the Guggen Filthy Frog. I like the Poppin' Frog better. Um, oh, cool. I already have one of these, but I love them. The Jigpara. It's like a... God, I don't, I don't know what the tailspin sort of deal, but these things crush. Mostly in, like, the winter. January, December. These things crush. Right now we're in June, so... Probably not going to throw it for a while. What is this? Bass Dynasty. It's like a white craw with a paddle tail on it. Hold up. This might be the only bait that we have to open. We, we, we got to see what these are. What this is. Yeah, look at this. It's like a white crawdad with a paddle tail. I'm guessing it's a trailer, like a jig trailer, because it's not not Texas riggable, I can tell you that. It says 2X Ghost Pepper is what it's called, as a color. Very interesting, a, uh, a bull shad, pretty cool, like the bull shad, oh, all right, some pre-rigged Nico rigs. I don't know. 
if I'll if I'll throw it, but I might. Um, <laughs> they give you a hook, and then it says a bonus weedless hook. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. The original casting. Ooh, ooh. Loco 1 or Loco 10. Dude, that collar, though. Hold up. You guys can't really. Well, yeah, maybe you can. That is some. That is cool. I like that color. Um, dives about 5 to 10 feet. That's pretty cool. I'll throw that for sure. The Guggen Jr. The Guggen Jr. Contender. Um, I'll throw it. It's like a baby bass kind of ordeal. I'll throw it in the summer. This is cool. I can't tell if that's a P and F. Peckle? Feckle? I don't know. I'm going to say peckle. The Unforgiven Strikes. But it's like a paddle tail frog. Oh. And read the back. That's cool. Catch, kiss, and release. <laughs> Do not mistreat bass. That's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, this excite gigantic freaking walking bait. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, this Eco Pro tungsten swing shad. There's not tungsten weights in these, I hope not. But it's a 4.8 paddle tail, big paddle tail. So, I'm gonna throw that this summer as well. For my weedless approaches. Uh, a Jenko fishing lipless crankbait. Pretty cool. What in the world? Oh, it's a blade bait. Uh, Vib. So it's a Japanese company, Lucky John. Maybe it's not Jap. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah, designed in Japan. But yeah, it's a blade bait. Pretty cool. That's the belly of it. Hold up. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Side of it, just kind of a black, kind of shad with a pink belly. Um, some Spearpoint EWGs. Love Spearpoint. I just wish they would give you the heavy. Heavy hooks, the Guggen Zinger. A lot of Guggen in here, man. I wish they would like stop that. Another Excite, uh, the Swim Dude. Like it seems like you just run through the same brands over and over and over. Hey, black and blue clickbait. Probably not gonna throw that. Not my favorite. A a headbanger. And I have three of these. I need to try to get a fish on it this summer. Um, the Jenko Square Bill. What is this one? The CD2. Yep, CD2. Hold on, let's see if you can get it. Yep, it's like a bluish. Let's see what color they say. Gizzard Chad. The BD Series Popper Tournament Grade Hooks. And sure. Um, five ounce popper, white, simple. Um, some headbangers, pretty cool. Some headbanger hooks, cool. And some major craft. What is this? Zoner, ooh, cool. What does it dive to? Cause it doesn't look shallow. It's a red craw. There it is. Three and a half feet to six and a half feet. That's pretty cool. Major craft. Crawdad. And no sticker. Pretty sad. Oh yeah, that's right. I already took the sticker. It was sitting on the top. Alright. But that's that box. I'm gonna go get my monthly box. Because I also got it. I have already ripped into that. So Sorry. Also, a new thing to my arsenal is the Sixth Sense Vega Frog. I got it when I got the crate. And it's also just been chilling on like 
my mouse pad or keyboard pad for like two days. So I don't have the boxes for any of these, so um, I have to try to guess on a lot of them. These are X Zone. Oh yeah, and this is the Elite uh, Monthly Phantom Mystery. This is in the Elite Zone, kind of goby, kind of drop shot things. Um, we got the Z Man Smoky Shad drop shot. <coughs> These really strange um, JDM paddle tiles. Here's where most of this got unpackaged, and I threw a bunch of it away. Um, I don't know who makes this. It's a really cool swim jig. Uh, this is a Janko square bill in a nice, like, kind of purchased color. Um, another, hold up, this is a, I can't remember the name of these. It is, So it is Jenko. Another Jenko sort of uh, lipless. A really nice Lunker's Hunt. I know it's Lunker's Hunt because I like the way that this blade bait looks. Really nice clicker. Need to throw this one. And then a huge Yozuri 3DB. I mean, this thing is massive. Like, compare it to this. X site. Oh wait, mm, they're about the same. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh wait, and I guess mustard hooks, but whatever. All right, now that. Uh, one of the things that I really, really wanted to talk about in this video is what I like to call combo fishing. And this works, probably my favorite time to do this is June, and any time I'm around lily pads, combo fishing. I got two rods, one with a frog, one with like a half ounce Texas rig, uh, could be a punching jig, whatever you, you really prefer using. Um, but... I like to throw a frog, and I like to skip it across those lily pads, and as soon as a bass pops, if they don't hit the frog, and if I don't pin them, immediately I'm throwing that frog down, picking up that half ounce weight. I just realized my mic is way over here, so all of that audio is probably going to be terrible, Um, but I'm picking up that half ounce Texas rig, throwing it right behind it, right to where they hit half of the time. If you're quick enough, you're gonna get bit. Like 90% of the chance, like you're, you're just getting bit. It's just how I, my experience has gone. But uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that and enjoy June fishing. Like I said, frog, any kind of punch setup, punch jig, uh, half ounce punch weight, it does it just punch straight up and some of my favorite baits is either a beaver a brush hog or a senko i like to throw a senko on that half ounce weight sometimes too because it goes right down right where i want it to go it's a great bait it doesn't have any action to it but it gets a bass's attention when they just see that stick falling right through the water so um yeah, enjoy the Mystery Tackle Box unboxing, and enjoy June fishing. Get out there and combo fish. Combo fish, combo fish, combo fish. And it, it doesn't have to be lily pads or any of that. Throw a chatterbait, you get bit, 
don't throw that chatterbait back out there. Throw something else, man. I promise you, you're, you're going to get bit. You're going to more likely be bit if you throw a different bait out there than if you throw the same bait in front of their face. It just it fires them up in a different way. And also check out the Six Sense Vega frog. I've just been sitting here messing with it. It's really cool. All right. Peace.